What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and welcome back to another Should You Pull video, where I give you my opinions for upcoming banners coming to the global version of the game. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Rude's event banner, which obviously features him and his LD weapon alongside with his EX 15 and 35. You can still get Sephiroth's burst weapon here, and the other characters are that are included in this banner are the twins from the world of Final Fantasy, and of course, we got Yuffie here as well. Now, before we do start, guys, like and subscribe if you haven't already, because it does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it if you do. Now, without further ado, let's start this video. Okay, so let's start this with Rude's abilities with all the passives included. So we'll start off with his first ability called Crush Hammer. This will be a 5 hit AoE melee bray plus AoE HP attack, which will have a split HP damage with a 150% max grave overflow limit. This is going to do more damage when he is dealing a critical hit and will also restore the party's HP based on the HP damage dealt when he does hit do a critical hit. He will also grant a buff called Turk's Method or the Turk Way. So we aren't really sure, at least at the time of the recording of this video, which one that the global version will adapt. Next is, of course, increasing the brave damage dealt when attacking a single target. That seems to be like a common thing now. Now, Turk's method or the Turk wave will raise the party's max brave in attack and will further raise his own max brave in attack as well. This will reduce the party's brave damage taken as well. Now, as for his second ability called Materia Tactics, this is basically going to raise the party's Brave based on his max Brave, and then will deliver a 5-hit melee Brave plus HP attack with a 180% max Brave overflow limit. Again, this is one of those mechanics for Rude that is very unique to him. When he's dealing a critical hit, basically it will increase the Brave damage dealt and will restore the party's HP based on the HP damage dealt. This uh, ability will also grant him the Turk's method or the Turk way buff as well. Now, while he has this buff active, he will have access to his Brave Attack Plus, which is going to be, going to be a two-hit melee Brave Attack, which increases the Brave damage dealt when dealing a critical hit and raising the party's Brave based on the Brave damage dealt. He will also have his HP attack plus, which will be a melee Bray plus HP attack, and again, increasing the Brave damage dealt when dealing a critical hit, and will raise the party's Brave based on the HP damage dealt. Now, as for his call ability, he will get the Crush Hammer, and this basically will increase his attack first, and then do a 5 hit AoE melee Bray plus AoE HP attack, and will increase the brave damage dealt when attacking a single target when dealing a critical hit and this will have a split hp damage this still will restore the party's hp based on the hp damage dealt and will have a 150 percent max brave overflow limit now let's move on to Rude's EX, which will be giving him the EX ability called Grand Spark. This will be a 4-hit AoE melee Brave plus single target HP attack delivered twice, and it will increase the Brave damage dealt when attacking a single target. Again, when dealing with a critical hit, hit this will increase the Brave damage uh, dealt and will restore the party's HP based on the HP damage dealt. This will grant 4 turns of Fist of a Pro or slash professional fist which again is going to be debating like you know at the time of the release of this video we don't know which way that the global version will pick up so basically this will raise the party stolen max brave and will uh, raise his own max brave in attack now at one out of three this will increase the brave damage dealt at two out of three increasing the duration of the buff by two turns and at three out of three increasing its recast speed now, when you do realize this weapon, at 0 out of 3, this will increase its potency, giving it a 120% max brave overflow limit. At 1 out of 3, increasing his max brave in attack. At 2 out of 3, when the quest starts, he will have 6 turns of the Turk Way and the Fist of Pro buff. And at 3 out of 3, 
his Grand Spark ability basically will become a four hit AoE melee brave plus single target HP attack delivered twice, and then will be followed up by another six hit AoE melee brave plus single target HP attack. This will have increased in brave potency, of course, and a 20% splash damage to non targets. He will also evolve his brave attack to Brave Attack++ plus plus, as long as he has the Turk Wave buff. This will now do a 3 hit melee Brave Attack and still increasing the Brave damage when dealing with, with a critical hit and will increase the Brave you gain to the party depending on the Brave damage dealt. He will also gain access to his HP Attack++ plus plus, which is going to be a 2 hit melee Brave plus HP Attack, again increasing the, bra the, the Brave damage when dealing a critical hit, raising the party's Brave based on the HP damage dealt and will also have a 120% max brave overflow limit. Now let's move on to Rude's LD, which will be Combination Arts. This will have three uses initially and will do an eight hit melee brave plus AOE HP attack. This will have a 100% HP damage to all targets and will have a 150% max brave overflow limit. Now again, when dealing with a critical hit, increase the brave damage dealt, restores the party's HP based on the HP damage dealt. Uh, just so, yeah, yeah just keep on going <laughs> however this time around this will be up to 100 percent of the the max hp of your party and will grant four turns of adept arms or shrewd enforcer so again this is one of those um uh, translation which could go either or basically this buff will grant the party a 500 percent of hp recovery amount exceeding their max hp be being added as a brave so think of it like a HP overflow, but instead of the HP going past their max HP, basically it is going to be added to their brave. This will also raise his own critical uh, critical hit rate and his attack. Now at one out of three limit break, this will increase his attack, increase the brave damage dealt. At two out of three, increasing his attack again and increasing the adept arm uh, buff by four turns. And at three out of three, increasing his attack again and adding one extra use for his LD ability. Okay guys, so after hearing all this information regarding Rude's abilities, his EX, EX+, Plus, and of course his LD ability, what do I think of Rude as a character? Now I did mention this before on my previous video on Should You Pull, that Rude is basically like the ultimate plug and play character. So you can basically just plug him in and he will thrive basically. Um, he is a healer for first and foremost, however, don't let that fool you he, because he still packed quite a punch with his ability 1, ability 2, all hitting by at least 5 hits, and of course his EX ability hitting multiple times as well. So it's he's actually a pretty offensive healer. Now you do have to I do have to remind you guys that the healing will come when he does critical hits so it's probably best to attach some materia that increases the critical hit rate however it's not all that um surprising that you will be hitting crits nowadays uh, especially when the target is broken you will most likely hit crits anyway so even if you don't have the materials for increasing his crit rate the chances are you will still hit with a crit anyway but it's obviously much safer to have something to increase that crit rate uh, therefore you know you will be able to make sure that you get the overheal which will become a brave for your entire party now Rood also has some very good auras just like uh, kieran he has a max brave of attack up um, and increase in stolen brave now one thing i didn't really write here was his ability to ability to reduce the brave damage taken as well so that is one of the very good party aura buffs that brood is very unique to him i know there is someone who does this as well but i just can't remember who it was i was it dash or gabranth someone someone who does like um decreased brave damage dealt as an aura or debuff i'm not really sure but Rude is a very, very good character to have. Um, I guess the only thing that I really, really, uh, I guess, have been wondering is basically 
You know, Rude has been portrayed as someone who can take hits and kind of like tankish in the Final Fantasy VII mythos, so it was quite weird to see that he is a healer first and foremost, or kind of like that. Um, I guess you can you can argue that he's it's not healing that he does first and foremost, but it is attached to every single one of his abilities. So that's why I feel like he's a healer first rather than a melee attacker uh, because it's just attached to everything. Everything he does, as long as he crits, he basically heals the party. So, um, you know, I, I, I think th he is a very, very good character. Let's not forget about that LD buff that basically can give you some battery as well as long as you overheal. Uh, I think that is a very very good buff. It lasts pretty long as well and you have four uses with his LD which is amazing. That means you have 8 times 4 which is 32 turns, uh, at least 32 turns for himself of this overheal. So that is a very very good buff. Um, and I can't really say anything more, um, you know, uh, great about what Rude brings to the table. Alright guys, so we're finally at the end of this video, and there's only one question that remains really, and that is should you pull? I think you should pull. <laughs> um, Rude has been one of the hyped characters coming our way in global, and it's really nice that we do get a free pull for him. Um, like I said, I think he's one of the most ultimate plug and play characters where you can just plug him in, plug him in, in your team and he will pretty much do well. Just like Gladio, you can, you know, to a certain extent, Gladio, the thing with Gladio is you can put him in any team, but for him to be very effective, you need something, you, you have to avoid characters that delay so that he can use his counter. Um, Karen, to a lesser extent, I mentioned was a plug-and-play character as well with multiple party auras, and Rude does that too. And honestly, the thing is, Rude just does a much better job in terms of damage uh, if you do compare their EX ability. Like, Rude just does more. Like, really just does more with his um, LD ability as well to a uh, to a point it's it's kind of better I mean they have the same number of hits I know with uh, Kieran he does two separate HP attacks and he does AoE attacks as well but the thing here is his HP damage is split while Rude is a hundred percent the only difference is his brave attack is a single target which is kind of weird to be honest um like the hp attack doing a like a hundred percent like damage to all targets but his brave attack is only a single target so kind of weird but it really really works for you know doing the damage because basically you'll be doing 100 percent damage for every single uh enemy so uh it's actually a very very good LD and I can't stress enough how good that buff is it's a, a lot longer um, you know uh, than I, I would say some other LD buffs but it's not the longest but it is uh, out there because and the thing is and I can't stress this enough that the LD will have four actual uses compared it to Karen who can only have three um, they have the same amount of duration with their buffs, but yeah, I think Rude takes the cake on this one, and I think I will give him the nod when it turn it, when it comes to like plug and play characters in your team. So I do suggest you do pull, use your tickets, you can use your gems as well. Uh, I'm my plan is probably get, I'm gonna use gems. <laughs> um, Reno has taken a lot of my tickets. Uh, I don't have a lot left, so yeah, um, I might use my gems on this one. Uh, I might see how, but the thing is, I have to see how my free pool goes. <laughs> if my free pool can at least get me in his ex, then I might consider just 
throwing the tickets and see if I can lock sack that LD. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Please do remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help the channel. And I really do appreciate it if you do. You can always follow me on Twitter and on Facebook uh, at Moshkins Gaming. If you have any questions, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. And leave down in the comments below, of course, what are your plans for this banner? Are you going to pull, use your tickets, use your, your gems? Let me know down in the comments below. This is Munchkins logging off. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next level.